So Joy Reid made a whole book about Trump. Oh my God, these people. Are she wrote a whole Trump. book yes, about bro. Trump. The oh, Trump she loves presidency. Him. That's insane. Oh, she loves him. That's yeah, why. Okay, guys, we you kinda, must be obsessed. We, she we, might. She might slob my dog. We though. fast forward into the grifting of the interview. She was talking about Trump a little uh, before it. Uh, this is the title if y'all want to go see it. She gonna slob my dog, Trump. Well, oh, brother, you had to say it twice. Bro. I'm telling you, she okay, assessed. All right, bro. Yeah, now that is actually insane to make a book called "The Man Who Sold America." I, I wouldn't have thought she wrote a whole book about she it. She in love it's with like, him. It's like, bro, are these people like we say that about Joe she Biden? She love him, bro. We say that about Joe Biden. Bro. Why are H side like trying to point the finger? No, you sold America. No, you sold America. No, you're a grifter. No, you're a grifter. Like, bro. That's exactly what bro. It's like. She like him. It's literally bro. like kids pointing the finger, man. Oh it my is. gosh. Okay, man, I cannot believe she made that book. I bet. Let's see how many Amazon. It's a, it's a four out of seven. It's not bad. Four out of five good reads. People like the book. Sixty five percent like this book. Think about the type of person you'd have to be to buy that book. The man that sold America. Wow, Joe Reed. Okay, let's get into the grifting, guys. Situation, and in Merle Evers Williams' case of being the first- She's gonna be talking about a little history right here, a little bit. Nationally known civil rights widow. The first to have to write this template. Right. And you think about it, you're a woman, you're a black woman, and it's the 1960s. So what do you have to be? You can't be loud. You can't be angry. You have to be pretty. You have to dress appropriately. Your children have to be perfect. You have to be a woman. Look perfect. They can't cry. They can't scream. Anything you do, as black people, we're so overjudged. You know, as a Muslim, you understand everything that you do is overjudged and people will overcorrect to find something negative about you. And they would have taken any opportunity to denigrate uh, her husband, denigrate Megan, and say it was his own fault that he was dead. And in fact, a lot of the white newspapers at the time did. They said, this is his fault. He shouldn't have been stirring up the blacks and let the Negroes be quiet. If he had not stirred them up, we wouldn't be dead. It's his she own fault. She promoted the book. And she knew that that's what they wanted to do. So she is trying to navigate with no template and no one to show her what to do, because no one else had dealt with this, but that she knew maybe Mamie Till, and right. there had been plenty of other civil rights widows in the state of Mississippi, but none of them had a TV camera in their face because they were only known locally. She was the first one who walked out to Dan Rather in her face and cameras. And so she wrote a template that then she could share with Betty Shabazz when it happened to Betty. She could share with Coretta ABC. when it happened to Coretta. And they became what I call the original group chat. They had to have each other's back because they were all on a world stage grieving and single moms in the you know, 60s and struggling, depressed, angry, but also having to be perfect. It's interesting when you read through, like you had to do so much research for this book. I, I know you know the history before, but what is it like to see it in such, I, you put it all together and see the way that black people through time have been treated. Who this and wig. There was a, a quote by James Baldwin, who was a friend yeah. of Medgar's, a famous quote from 1961, where he said, to be a Negro in this country and to be relatively conscious is to be in a state of rage almost all of the time. Yeah. And has it changed that much? I mean, <laughs> if you're aware and you see injustice, and you wonder how does it continue and it yeah. either directed against the black community or the double standard where white people in power, like right. Donald Trump, are treated vastly different yeah. than everyone else. I mean, to be a, a black person in you know 2024 in America is to be in a state of complete perplexed confusion about what is wrong with a country that hates your history, to this day can't admit even the basics of what was done to your ancestors can't accept any responsibility for the lack that has carried through the entirety of the existence of you it. in this country and think 60 years of relative freedom is enough. Now blacks, please get out of Harvard. Now blacks, you can't get any more loans. No. You can't even give each other loans of $20,000. Blacks get out of Harvard? Okay, I was gonna let her low rank wide, but blacks get out of Harvard is actually insane. So just because they won't allow affirmative action just to give someone a handout. That means blacks out of Harvard. Over now, <laughs> I don't think those ladies that even if they, I don't know if what your book's about, maybe okay, maybe it's about though you know black history. I don't know, but I don't think nobody in black history. I don't think anybody would be proud of what you're saying and doing, Joe Reed. I don't think so. I remember our, I coach, so. our I coach in college told us about you know because he's an older guy. He lived in Louisiana and he said that the the people who really went through and, and fought for you know for freedom 
they would be so ashamed of how people act. When he was talking about specifically in the classroom, he was saying like people like they would literally like the old professors and stuff would be like, y'all don't know what we went through to get y'all here and y'all here acting like this. And they would be genuinely upset how people was acting. So to hear how she was talking out to th those people would be like, goodness gracious. Like, that's insane. What did we fight I, I, for? I don't know, man. I don't know how she can say like acknowledge the history and apply of black people and then get on TV and cake for illegal immigrants. Oh, they should have it better than us because they're asylum seekers. Uh. Don't we have a big, a huge African American museum, which is the biggest museum in Washington D.C. It's Trump, free to go to. Didn't Trump try to at least do something? Didn't Trump get admit. people out of jail for freaking uh, uh, nonviolent crimes? So if I go up to a white thousands person, of people, unemployment any type rate, of like black person, did the unemployment rate be at the lowest it was in in, in years? But they're not looking at stats. Tell me though. Tell me if Fuck I go up here, to man. a race of people or a race of a person, a white person, let's say a white person, they're gonna not acknowledge that racism or Slavery happened. I think everyone acknowledges that. That's why I, don't, I didn't understand I got, that either. I was like, don't they have? And slavery? she said they don't admit that they're wrong. These people who are alive right now didn't have no slaves. So what do you want them themselves to admit? They have slavery going on right now. They do in Africa. Like she should have just created an organ, a Black Lives Matter organization, just, lady. I don't think you really want reparations. So I got she a, does, but I, I got mean, a question. So like this the Africans that has been enslaved in Africa, like. Do they get respiration? They're for that's them. happening right now. They're not. That's what he said. They're not gonna cry for them. They're happy. Did you see that the video of the little the kids cobalt? coming out the bags? Yeah, the cobalt. That's They're happening not gonna right cry now. For them. Okay, let's keep going. It doesn't fit their narrative to cry for them. So for the like, lack that has carried. Why we as a nation just didn't look at that? That was like a business model back in the day, and then they took that out as a. Well, it's because it was it happened to human people. Yeah, but, I understand that, yeah. but it was like at the time. That was a form of it business. Was, it, yeah, it was. Yeah. All around it, the world. It, 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 it does. It, it was, was But it doesn't it justify wrong. like the bad yeah, stuff that happened. It was wrong. No, I, I do, I do see where you're coming from. I do see where you're coming from. That's 100%. why I was like... Yeah, I mean, yeah. And it was still, you know, racial injustice after. So I can definitely see. It wasn't like, oh, we just did that for a business. Uh, we like black people after. It was still a hate. I can definitely still see I can that. say hate. Yeah, I can see, still see the hate because, you know, they still had hate groups. But... And when I really look at slavery, I just look at it as like if you had money and you was able to afford them, you would attain them. Yeah. And, and just, the people that, that had that's, money that's was able. Size. It shows how blessed of a country we are for this to even be allowed for someone to ask, to ask a country that we need reparations because bad stuff has happened all over the world. And you country. think that someone's going to ask that country for reparations. I want money to fall from the sky because something that happened back in, you know, 50 years ago. Well, the Native Americans, I could physically see why though. But some bad Happen to everybody. They should. I'm. Mean, you know. I'm keeping it under, bro. Well, everybody. they almost wiped out their whole race. Yeah, they did. I That's did. like okay, what you. No, how you felt about Gaza is literally what they did here. Okay. Yeah. And it's bad. It's bad. It's fucked up. But so, I still. But we're getting super off topic. Okay. Yeah. We are. We are. We are. But maybe, you know, that's a good point. Because maybe if someone says, "Should Gaza get reparations?" I might say, "I, I don't know what they're gonna do with their money." Though, so let's just go. Even the basics of what was done to your ancestors can't accept any responsibility for the lack that has carried through the entirety of the existence of you in this country and think 60 years of relative freedom is enough. Now blacks, please get out of Harvard. Now blacks, you can't get any more loans. You can't even give each other loans of $20,000 so you give white men who get 99% of funding for their businesses. We want 100. And to find out that literally Barack Obama's two terms in pre as president are your reparations. And Juneteenth, which you already celebrated anyway, is your reparations. And yet, that? you built this country. You literally physically built this country. And yet, you. the attitude toward you. you from a lot of your peers and your fellow citizens is just shut up and be grateful. You didn't and it's it's country. it's infuriating, and that is why James Baldwin is my favorite writer. He I is my the bet to me the bet greatest writer uh, in American history. But he's speaking a truth that still exists, and he's been long gone, but it's still true. Yeah, when you read James Baldwin, or like I'm a big fan of Malcolm X, yeah, me watch too. his stuff, and I'm like, wow. The courage to do it at a time where you could be killed for those words Absolutely. without any kind of recourse whatsoever. Yeah. It's a different level of courage than today where maybe you can lose a job. Or it's so true. And one of the, I mean, to be honest with you, one of the, the things I hope that people get out of this book is the idea of courage. Because, yeah. you know, I, I used to tell my students when I used to teach a, a class at Syracuse and I taught a class at Howard, I would, I would always tell my students, none of these men, Medgar, Malcolm, or Martin, lived to be the age when Kobe Bryant was when he died. He was 41. Megger was 37. He was the first and the youngest to die. He died 
five years before Dr. King, two years before Malcolm X. He was the first to lose his life before Goodwin, Schwerner, and Cheney. So he was the first to take this journey. And he also knew this journey was coming. He knew he wouldn't live long. He knew he wouldn't be an old man. And and the fact that they had the courage to do that, that people today don't have the courage to accept a mean tweet. That's not even on Twitter anymore because it's on a platform nobody except the media reads. The fact that, yes, you will get death threats. You and I have both been there. Oh, yeah. You get, I mean, rape threats. On my, you get angry N-word. The N-word. I've been called the N-word so many times by people who actually weirdly sign their name in the email, which is really <laughs> strange. You want me to know your job and your name and everything? And, and you're fine with that? But you accept that as part of the platform that you are blessed with and you're so thankful you can speak for not just your people, but this country and to make this country a better place. The fact okay, that people that. with money security <laughs> guards, people who can afford full-time security, won't speak up against that man who wants to be an autocrat, that's shameful. I, and then the last two questions are about this election I wanted to touch on. First of all, for you, put aside everything. The fact that Donald Trump, over three years ago, attempted a coup and incited a terrorist attack and walks free, wow. <laughs> there's no accountability at all. A terrorist this attack. Me, on this one. But for me, it is, I'm not even kidding, it's intellectually difficult for me to comprehend that yeah. this is where we are as a nation and how could this happen and the debate is should be on the ballot right. when the debate should be is what prison cell should he be in today <laughs> this is how do we have a lack of accountability like this and how do we get here it is incredible to me and again just having just written a civil rights book right. um, about the 30 some odd years it took to convict byron della beckwith mm-hmm. when everyone knew that he assassinated Medgar Evers in front of his own house and in front of his kids, and he bragged about it for 30 years, and it still took that long to bring him to justice, and it only happened because finally there was an interracial jury with women on it, and that we had to have literal change in who could be on a jury before we get. I am not surprised that it is taking so long this for Donald Trump to come to justice. Than then. But it is sad, and it is a sad statement on our country's judiciary system that the scrubs Donald Trump busted to come into to the Capitol for what? are cooling their hairs in jail. And Enrique Tario is finding out that in fact he is black <laughs> and Black Lives Matter, because right. he's in jail. And Donald Trump and Mark Meadows and Rudy Giuliani are playing golf. And we, on this day that you and I are talking, Dean Obadala, we just found out after weeks of waiting that voila, the appeals court says Donald Trump cannot, in fact, take SEAL Team 6 and kill his political opponents. It took them weeks to answer that question. There are two Americas. He's pissed me oh, the fuck off. There are. And, and last thing about the media. It so is we're two in the 2024 Americas. Cycle. Me the fuck off. What are the challenges in corporate media for covering Trump, not normalizing Trump, and also not elevating Trump to... No, she's done. I'm, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, it's annoying. I it's hate Joy Reid. It's genuinely annoying. I genuinely oh, do not like gosh. Joy Reid. And you know, she seems like she's at least somewhat intelligent, but she knows what she's doing. She I think it's just... Does. I think it shits all people who really genuinely went through racism and fought for actual rights for black people, for real. To sit here and say that y'all didn't do shit. We still have... We're still fighting racism today and it's still so horrible for black people and we still can't get nothing. That means that all you did was in vain. That, that I feel like that's spitting on them. I just, I, feel I like just don't wrong. know if I have to agree with that, bro. Like, I really don't feel like racism is the thing that's black people's issue in America today. I feel like there's so many other things that are plaguing the black community that are underlining, that are bigger than racism. Because as a black person, I don't know if I've ever dealt with any racism. Uh, like blatant racism in my face just because I'm a black person. Only time I could probably like Compared possibly to what my say grandma it. and great grandma went through, hell no. Nah. And they would have said, boy, you think that's like what, bro? Like Scott, we went to school, scholarship was athletes and shit. I'm trying to find a, a scripture about looking back. Like, they said we were slaves. Looking back at the past has never been good for anybody. And I found a couple of scriptures, but they actually probably, you know, they sound kind of crazy. I don't know if this is kind of, you know, relatable, but Luke 962 says, No man no man having put his hand on the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. That's actually crazy. I didn't know that. That's, that's a different that's context. That's saying plowing as in Pursuing God, and then you just stop pursuing God, and you. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that. Uh... That was different, yeah. Um. But in general, you know, you're not supposed. To, you know, 
Yeah, I think we all know the answer to all this, man. Yeah, yeah, I was making sure. It's all two plus three. two. I, I, I want to hit him with some, uh, you know. He wanted to hit him with some facts. I wanted want everybody to be like, ooh. Shit. Yeah, I wanted to hit him with some crazy shit. But, yeah, man, it, this, I, I had two points. I forgot where one of them was. I don't know. Was it maybe the part? Oh, what you was going to say? Go ahead. I was just going to say what I think is the problem in the black community. Oh, you, we black go people on. today. Hold like, on, though. Freaking fatherlessness, violence. All that, bro. Graduation rates. I have something to say, she too. She said black people said. Single have something to say, too. She said. So much. Not black people. She said Harvard said black people get out of Harvard. Yeah, we, yeah, Lady, you yet. taught at Harvard. Didn't she go to Harvard? Yes. she And she taught. So they didn't kick nobody out. But look. They had a, whole, a black president. Y'all know what else I think is a problem? In the black community that we have not addressed very much, white liberals like him sitting there and feeding this rhetoric and and telling yeah. you know and just doing the same like that doesn't help the black community. It, it definitely doesn't. At you want to know what doesn't help is that she's so intelligent and like accomplished and she still peddles this fucking bullshit. Like, lady, if racism was such a thing, how are you in the position that you're in right now? She how did you have, more. How are you afforded the she opportunities you will have to get to where you are in life? She want more. Like, I'm not going to say, and she, we can see her and peddle that crap. Oh, I'm the exception. I'm the exception. I just, I don't know, man. I feel like if, if, if you just told other black people, if you work hard and focus yourself and put your efforts into becoming someone like me, you can become someone like me, rather than telling black people white people are against you and racism is holding you down, yeah, you're going to get a way better result. I, yeah. I, I didn't think about I just, it. Don't, don't think care about the result, though. Oh, Let's man. think about it like this. Care about their pockets. Jewish people. You know, they had a, it was a genocide against them. I mean, yeah, against them. Every group of people went through something. Against, you know, Palestinians, we could say. Uh, what I want to ask y'all is, do y'all think that they, maybe 50 years after, you know, the bad incidents, would they should they still be able to receive reparations? Do Jewish people receive reparations? I, mean, I don't think I don't they know. do. They don't. They don't. They don't. So what happened to guys that flatten the guys that do? Should they do they deserve reparations? Well, uh, they, that's another. I mean, they're not the U.S., so I really don't care what they I know. get. I'm, I'm worried about people. I don't want to bring that up. Black people feel like they've been done wrong. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. That's a whole different issue. You can't compare those. I'm not about to. So say that happened to okay, let's say 50 years later that people want reparations for what happened to. During this war that happened, fucked over, you know, flattened Palestine. So that kind of is the That's same thing. If we issue, were though. in a bad situation, black people were in a bad situation, is that not kind of like the same thing? Nah. Nah. How? Because ours was 200 Black years. people were free. Black people were given But things. we were still black back were... from a lot of stuff, though. Maybe like in the, we can say the 50s or 60s. Okay, yeah. But then there was also a lot that they were not held back from anymore. For the last half yeah long. but that's what i'm saying though so say you know palestine gets to i don't believe the reparations up because it's kind of yeah. like I, i'm thinking as a like i, I might really think that they I might need reparations anymore. for being fucked over and if black people were fucked over i just don't think the issues are well, equal you saw like, what happened to the know, jewish what people what happened to black people was slavery they committed a terrorist attack and then i know but 25 and there was thousands of my soldiers and twenty five thousand regular civilians died that had nothing to do with that i'm not going down this road i'm not i'm just saying like i don't really think i'm comparing if y'all think, if y'all think that they deserve oranges. reparations, I don't. then we can kind of think, you know, that black people, I mean, we I don't like know. that. I'm going to keep it, honey. Why so would the genocide happened to the Christian, they don't deserve no... As a country, as a that's country... That's too broad of a statement. Okay. okay. I'm going to say black people went through a genocide. Black people didn't go through no genocide. Oh, uh, but it was... It was let me black people did not at all go through let me, genocide. Let me end this okay, real quick. Let me end this real quick. It was probably quick. over 25,000 black people that died, but maybe babies were being thrown into... It wasn't a genocide. The genocide is when they tried to end a whole race of people. Babies, literal babies were being thrown into alligator pits. There's so much bad stuff that happened. It was horrible, but it wasn't a genocide by definition. A genocide by... They were slaves. Yeah, bro. No, but slavery I mean, is what happened. We yeah, still well, a bigger man. group than Chinese people. Right so y'all basically saying if, if, if genocide happens on Muslim race or bad stuff happens on Muslim race, uh, the, uh, must, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't you understand understand why, should they I get reparations? Maybe it would be case by case basis. Like, you can't say any time that this happens, then this should happen. Like with, everything with should be case by case basis. I, I, I don't think black people deserve reparations. You don't think no group of people that that was harmed that have I don't know. It'd be case by case. I don't know. You said they just might deserve reparations. They already got them. They already got them. They're Jewish people right didn't now. get reparations so after the Holocaust. Yeah, they they did. They did. Where? They got millions of dollars. Oh, for real? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So should black people get reparations? No. Why shouldn't we get reparations and Jewish people got reparations? I don't know, bro. They, theirs Why? was a, know, a genocide. Bro. Ours was not. You don't think? Have I you ever heard of a consecration? Have you ever heard of a camp in America where they sit there and the the only job is to to, to kill people? That's so, the only on, thing that on, they do. Talk about what happened. With, what happened with Palestine? They just wanted free labor. Talk about what happened with Palestine. Was that a genocide? In my opinion, no. I'm not going down that road again. 
So twenty five thousand. In my opinion, people. no. But I'm not going down that road again. So what was the difference? In my opinion, bro, no. Why, I'm you, not why, going down why, why are you even bringing this up? How many? How many people? How many Jews? I'm sorry. I don't even want to talk about this. What happened to Japan? What happened to Japan? Died. What happened to Japan? Was that a genocide? No. That was not a genocide. Hundreds of thousands of people died. Was that not a genocide? No. Genocide is almost like wiping them off the face of Earth. They dropped the bomb of uh, to to war. surrender in war. They attacked us first, and then we were over there. I see the you war really want to argue really bad right surrender. now. So I'll let you. I'm just over. trying to put it in perspective of my, how how they might be seeing the situation of you know bad stuff happening to a race. And, and the race is affected affected down the line. Should they get reparations? I I'm, I'm personally say. And you know, I'm just looking at it with how I'm not against it. it. I'm you know, against it. it but it's not going to help our society. I, it's not I am against reparations but for like, black people. I'm going to keep it 100. Why would they give a group of people money when they got money and then helping their society, they blow it up another, like, harm the whole their, their mm-hmm. other society. Like we was talking about, you know, that one situation. They got money and then actually building the economy, they used it to actually do harm. So why would they give them reparation? Your argument you were saying earlier. Who? Who are you talking about? Palestine, Jewish people? Who are you talking about? I would just say, I don't know, if if some groups of people are getting reparations, you know, I mean, it it should be case by case, but black people in America were harmed pretty badly. They was? So, like, you know, I can see the case there. I do think it's a little stupid, but if we're looking at these other situations, I'm living in today's time, I think what happened to Palestine was very fucked up, and I think that to grow their economy again, they're definitely going to need some type of money. So, you know, but people our are case, giving them money. I don't yeah, really I know. know. Yeah, but our case is today, like, we're living good. Like, we could do, you know, what we need to do. So it's a different case. But I mean, I can see their case. You know, a lot of people might have been, uh, you know, I don't know. We, I just don't we even know. Still I don't even know where that up, even so came I really from. Don't know. I, I don't even know where that came from in relation to, like, what we was just I mean, talking I mean, about. bro, I mean, people would, you, you don't think people would put a, 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 a terrible events that happened in the world history as slavery? What happened to Palestine? All these different events, Jewish people, what happened to Jewish people, those are, that's, they're never the same thing. It's no, there's been genocides in Africa that you have never even heard of. And that's fucked up. Maybe they should deserve a But who's going who's gonna to pay it? Yeah, facts. Who is this responsible? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, that. maybe that's I, what I'm saying. Why, when another who's, country who's fights another country, they're that. not going to give, like, I if you, the, the, the Indian people here, the Native okay. Americans here got a re- reparations because it was in America, so America had control of that. Yeah, so they felt like, this is our country, and y'all are here, and we did this to y'all in our country, so we're going to do this to y'all. getting reparations. They are. That's a problem. And I don't agree with it. Yeah, no one does. I'm just so confused on like why you talking about like, who's gonna pay that? Hey, like, I'm not gonna pay that. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't pay no taxes I, that know, go towards look, that. This day argument. I'm just saying maybe that's where they seen the argument. It could be possible to be like that. Cause, but that that is kind of an argument if you put all those things that happen in the world history. I don't think that's maybe at all you know. Argument. I don't know. I don't know. They arguing it, brother. I don't know. But, uh, we'll you know, see if it happens. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. But we I know mean, damn hey, well it, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, we're so we just farting in the air right yeah, now. Yeah, we are. We are. Let us know what y'all think about you guys.